Education is the foundation for children as they grow into their adult lives, and those speaking at the Indigenizing Education Forum on Friday talked about how it is important to incorporate Indigenous values into the education system. Our education systems really need to take into account how we understand the world and the knowledge that we have that's oftentimes thousands of years deep. UAF Vice Chancellor Charlene Stern says that one of the steps forward is the Trothietta Indigenous Studies Center that is currently in its fundraising stage with plans to start construction in 2025. It's meant to help alleviate some of the disconnect between the values of the education system and those within it, something many such as educator and co-chair of Gwich'in Council International, Edward Alexander, say they see. It's not bringing in elders like it should. It's not including native languages like it should. It, you know, we can have a system where schools are tribally compacted and become integrated to those communities. He says incorporating indigenous values with education will better prepare students for their lives in the community, which will also benefit. They should be connected to their culture. They should have hope. They should have a great feeling of well-being as they become educated, as, they, as they're learning more and more about uh, their own culture, histories, ways of being, and have uh, self-determination, right? Several representatives from the University of Alaska system spoke on ways they are currently incorporating indigenous values into their studies. We have degrees in Alaska Native Studies, rural development, indigenous studies, tribal governance, rural human services. We offer a broad range of um, indigenous uh, relevant programs. And developments to their campuses, such as a Trothietta Indigenous Studies Center, which will provide a hub for indigenous-focused students and indigenous studies overall. It's not about the facility for us. It's about the, what is the facility going to help us do to maximize our impact, and that is working with students. That's revitalizing our languages. That's renormalizing our cultures within an academic setting. Granting opportunities for those within the state to be better prepared for what it has to offer. Joe Kinnean, Alaska's News Source.